folks, this weather is making me absolutely miserable. Storm after storm after storm. What I want to do is get on a cheap EasyJet flight to the Canaries, one of the best astro locations in the world. The reason, clear skies, dark skies, and most of all, very little wobble in the atmosphere. I so want to go because a calm atmosphere means it's possible to resolve more of the universe's secrets than I can from Blighty. So why haven't I gone already? Well, it's my travel rig. This setup doesn't even care how wobbly the atmosphere is because it's just not zoomed in enough. Taking this rig to the Canaries would be like turning up at the Indy 500 with a push bike. To justify going all the way to the Canary Islands, I need to somehow figure out how to get an incredibly powerful telescope into a suitcase like this. And if we manage it, I'm booking my tickets to nerd heaven. Oh, oh man, that's my hat gone. This one has gone onto the neighbor's roof. The music for this Astro Biscuit mission is brought to you by His Majesty King Richtenstein. Details of all the Astro gear used in this video on my website, link below. Please subscribe, ring the bell, and if you're really nice, become a patron. Enjoy. Got my hat back. Eventually, folks, we've got to somehow improve on my travel rig. Absolutely critical. There's nothing wrong with the travel rig. He shot this. But if we want to go to the Canaries, we need to be more zoomed in. Like this. And that was taken with my fancy pants rig, which, as you can see, is just no way is it ever going to fit in a suitcase. So, can we squeeze the resolution of the fancy pants rig into something that's the size of the travel rig? I have had very many stormy nights to think about this. The obvious thing to do is get a telescope with 10 times the magnification, but it's never going to fit. So I think... Uh, careful. Whoa. I'm all right, me old mucker. Mate. For those who haven't met him, by the way, this is Pink Bunny. I'm, uh, ah, damn it, my hat's got again. Uh, this weather is absolutely driving me insane. Yes. We've got to get out of here, Bunny. Agreed. What is the plan? The plan is, rather than take a big telescope, we're going to take a small camera. <laughs> this small camera has really tiny pixels and they should increase our resolution without the need for a bigger telescope. But the small pixels on their own aren't enough. So I have another secret weapon, this. Probably the best little telescope in the world. This is the Takahashi FS60CB. And the reason this scope is so cool is because one of its lenses isn't actually made out of glass. It's made out of a crystal, a crystal called fluorite. You have to mine this crystal out of the ground or grow it, which makes it super expensive. But what you get is a super sharp scope. Combined with that, camera with the little pixels, I think we can actually match the fancy pants rig. To find out if I'm right, we need to test it. And for that, we need clear skies. But the weather isn't playing ball. This is turning out to be the worst year for Astro in living memory. Storm Arwin is going to be gone tomorrow. And hot on its heels is Storm Barra. But in between the two, there is one night and one night only of clear skies. To make the most of it, I made the tactical decision of spending five hours in a car and going to my mum's place in darkest Devon. Of course, when I got the scope out, the rain started. The storm, however, the storm has not appeared. And as predicted by my app, we've got one more clear patch before all hell breaks loose. Time to get imaging before the storm, which really doesn't feel like it's coming at all, comes. We don't have long, so I'm going to shoot Seven Sisters in black and white with my luminance channel. 
it should be enough to tell us if we've matched the resolution of the fancy pants rig. And if we do, then finally we can escape this nightmare weather and head to the Canaries. I don't want to count my chickens, but the subs we're getting look pretty good to me. All right, we got an hour before Storm Barra arrived. And if this is Storm Barra, it really isn't anything to write home about. There is almost no wind. It is a light drizzle. So I'm, I'm covering the scopes up. I'm going to take my flats in the morning. So yeah, I shall see you in the morning. Turns out this was the quiet before the storm. Between 4.30 and 5 a.m., the full force of Storm Barra hit my mum's back garden. Oh no. The electronics in the mount and filter wheel and camera are all completely soaking. That has been rained on all night. Oh, Let's have a look at that. But hopefully they cushioned the precious tack and its fluorite lens. Oh man, look. Look. Big dent. Big dent in the side. Oh, pity's sake. There is a very good chance that my beautiful tack is now out of collimation. Oh. Uh, sorry about your tacky thing. But remember what you said, Rory. If we got close to the fancy pants rig, which is this, we would be going to La Palma. And Rory, me old mucker, we've done it. Amazingly, the little tack and the tiggy pixels really did match the resolution of the fancy pants rig. Wow. Of course, it's all a bit mute now, though. We're not going to La Palma, Bunny. We've got no kit. So that's it. The dream has gone. But we can still go to La Palma anyway, can't we? Rory? Rory? A week later, the little AZ GTI came back to life. A fortnight after that, a package arrived. It was an 80mm ED scope sent for me to test out from SV Boney. Now normally I'd say an 80mm scope was too big and heavy to fit on the little mount. I just wonder whether... If the ED glass that's in here can match the performance of the fluorite I'm not sure it will, but if it does, or even if it gets close, potentially, this SV bone is gonna be even better. And if it does work, then we can finally escape this terrible weather. Annoyingly, someone must have bought a massive scope because I had to wait six weeks before I could test it. It's finally happening, folks the full-on dress rehearsal for when I'm going to be astroing on the side of a volcano in the Canaries. To make this test as realistic as possible, we will be just using a car battery for power. I think this might do it. <sighs> 
Oh, hello horse. If we look over this hill up here, you can see something that you might not recognize. That's called blue sky and actually a bit of moonage. So we're astroing because it's been so long. Despite being blooming freezing, uh, I am super excited about tonight. Oh, I've got two friends, by the way. One friend is here. This is Rain. Rain, say hello. Nay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't do any astroing because I was eaten by a horse. Hello. It's cold, isn't it? The other one is Cloud and Cloud has gone off somewhere. Of course, the Astro Gods weren't going to let me escape Astro Hell without putting up a fight. Would you believe it? It started raining. Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to stay here all night to test this out. I am not going to be beaten. No, sir. Not after all the blooming months of waiting. It's gone midnight and finally the rain has gone. But Houston, we have a problem. Let's try turning it off and turning it on again. Oh, come on. Come on, you little, you little. Mm. At first, I couldn't figure out what was wrong. Uh. Okay, update. I think the problem is power. One of the great mysteries of the universe is that astrophotographers are forced to use temperamental cigarette lighter power sockets. Look, what happens when I push this plug in? Yeah, 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 it's absolutely freezing. Right, come on. Come on. That sounds like absolutely nothing's happening. Oh, it is. It's moving. It's blooming stopped. Somewhere we've got a loose connection. So I decide to tape up every single one. Is it the only way to get it to work? Two o'clock in the morning, in the blooming freezing cold, with some bloody tape. Surely someone can design a connection, a power kit. I mean, it's so crap. Did I mention that my danglers have basically frozen off as well? Come on. Slew. Nothing. 3 a.m. I have no idea what's wrong with the mount, and I have no idea why I'm here. Ah, so cold. Come on, biscuit. Oh, man. Growling at the mount doesn't work. Still, this could actually be much worse, because as a fairly famous YouTuber, it would be way more embarrassing if it turned out I'd simply forgotten to press a button. Small chance I need to unpark it. Unpark. Slew. It's slewing. Oh, oh thank God. We are imaging. We got started so late that dawn was soon upon us, but I think we got enough. Morning everybody. I think it worked. We'll see. Morning rain, morning cloud. So, have we done it? Have we created the ultimate travel rig? Is it as good as the fancy pants scope and are me and Bunny heading off to the Canary Islands? Okay, Bunny, this is it. This is it. Whoa, that's really good. That is a Sunflower Galaxy 30 million light years away. Wow, that's great. Let's pack our bags. I hate to say this, Bunny, but it's not as good as the tag. Really? You see, the thing is, in astrophotography, you're only as good as your weakest link. And our weakest link... Is you? ...is the mount. Oh, he's gonna geek on. Now, with the heavy SV Boney on it, 
The mount wobbles at more than two arc seconds. How interesting. But with the light attack, it wobbles about two arc seconds. About the same resolution as the tack. So it's in perfect harmony. Cut the boring talk, Rory. Are we going or not? Well, the tack's out of collimation and now the mount's conked out. We're not going, Bunny. Oh, oh Rory, why did you leave your scope out in the storm? You... Folks, it's bad. But... It might end up being good, because I'm going to have to think out of the box. In fact, I'm going to eat the box and come up with a revolutionary new travel scope design. It will be epic. I'm not just saying it. Early tests on the Sunflower Galaxy got this. Wow. Get ready for the sequel, folks. I just need a few quid to help finish the rig off. If you want to help this endeavour, then I'm putting a little uh, collection pot below. If you throw a tenner, I'd be very grateful. And remember, before my rig got mashed up by Storm Barra, it did work. And you can find details of it and the basic beginner-friendly travel rig on my website, links below. Okay, folks, that basically wraps it up. We will be back to finish this mission. Now, talking of donations, I just want to say a massive thanks to the folks who donated money to help me buy this camera and this filter wheel. And you're probably wondering, why the heck haven't I made a video about it? Well, the weather has been terrible. But in the last month, I actually got to use it in anger. And the results are extraordinary and surprising and will be the subject of the next Astro Biscuit video. You'd be hard pressed to find any telescope on Earth that has actually done better. I kid you not. On top of that, we're going to be able to use this camera in this new Ultimate Travel Rig as well, which will be amazing. I'd also like to do a big shout out to my patrons, especially the goodly folk appearing on the screen right now. You patrons. Uh, through this terrible weather have helped keep me alive. So thank you so much. To thank my patrons, not only do you get to see this a few weeks before everyone else, but also I have made an exclusive tutorial video which goes to the very heart of astrophotography entitled How Long Should My Subs Be? It's a 40 minute long tutorial and the feedback I've had from regular nerds and even a professor is that it's scientifically accurate, it doesn't miss anything, and it's easy to understand. Cool, blimey. There will be more tutorial videos coming. Patrons also have access to a tremendous resource on my Discord server, exclusive channels such as Ask a Mega Nerd, where hand-picked lovely mega nerds will help solve your astro problems in near enough real time. And if you want me to answer, I'm, I might not be instantaneous all the time, to be honest, uh, just type at Astro Biscuit in one of those channels. Massive thanks, of course, to his Richtensteininess. Well done, Rick, mate. Fantastic job, I think. Richtenstein is now able to do, mix your video and provide music for your video. As well as that, you can buy his album, link below. Take care. Bye from me. Bye from Bunny. Later. And uh, see you on the next one, which is not going to be too long away, I hope. Bye. I'm getting a report in that someone watching hasn't subscribed. If it's you, please subscribe. Actually, you need to make up for this by ringing the bell. Bye.